Hi, uh, I am Deepak and now I am going to show you how the POS works in Dynamics 365. Now you can see on our screen is a whose chin is a store at which that we are going to be log in and we will just put our employee ID and you will just enter your password. As you will open it, the store will ask you and that are you going to start a new shift and uh, at which to draw. So as you will select that, then you can see the post machine will start and even there are some introductory documents are also available there. Now uh, let's have a look first is a home page. As you can see the home page is available here. The second one is an option where you can see all the catalogs of your product. Like if you wish to select any item, so in that case you can select a particular category of a product and uh, after selection of a particular category of a product you will click on the product. As you will click on that. <coughs> it will ask you about the which size, which color and which style of this item is available. Even if you will click on the specification, so at the right side of the product you can see the spec specification of the product which has been already been set up in the feature of catalog of this product feature of products are available here now, now you can see at the right side is a description is also available there are some other related products at the right side as well so it is very easy uh, to choose any any product it's very comfortable you can just add your product as you will add then it will be added in your cart and you can see it has been added now let's move to the next option which we have there is a change of catalog if you wish to change your catalogs like we want to move to the uh, to a casual shirts you can just click on that in the particular catalog again it will show you the particular types of shirts now you can choose your another product which you love to buy it style as well so regular size and and you will see that it has been also added so now the two products we have selected here if you want to see your all the cards so and from the next page you can see these are the two products which you have been selected now you have the option like if you want to also provide any kind of a loyalty card or you can say okay so do you want to buy, get any kind of a gift card or the loyalty card <coughs> so even you can do that so the gift card if do you want to issue any gift card so you can just click on gift card functionality and you can just give the a card number so let's say the card number is I'm saying it's 10,000 an amount we are giving inside the card is 1000 so now he is buying three items right now including the gift card so he has to pay the rest of the total amount which he has to pay will be the the subtotal 1144.99 plus taxes and total payments so now if you want to go for the payment aside you can just go back and here you have payment aside so if you want to void your transaction if you want to add any kind of gift card is already been issued and if you want to pay from that you can also do that Otherwise, you can go for your transaction option. You can suspend your transaction in any case of any return or the sales line, uh, repeat uh, if, if it happens. So, like, let's say uh, we have select this and sales line, sales repeat. So, you can select that uh, who is repeating the representative and so sales representative here. So, you can select here a part of that now you can just go back and you can go for payment aside so now in the payment side we have a payment and you can click on a payment uh, i want to uh, define one more thing 
in POS, actually this layout uh, can also be built by your own. It means as per your own choices, you can set up your which I, uh, particular uh, the icon or the buttons that you want to how you would like to see it. So accordingly, you can select. Then you, let's say select and cash. As you will select cash, this is the total amount. And let's say uh, I'm not going to pay this amount. I'm going to pay to twelve hundred dollars uh, that has been paid. So as you will click on that, the rest of the changes amount will be applied in that case. <coughs> so uh, you are uh, basically the drawer will open and where you can put your all 1200s and 45.95 change you have to provide to your customer back. Uh, so this was this is is completely a uh, complete feature of POS machine. Here, even uh, it, it's not up to these limitations only. There are some other options as well, like you can see discounts functionality, discounts related to your customer type of customer. You can define that. You can affiliate it. Even uh, the orders that you have. So order can be your. You can create your orders of your customer if he loves to receive any item in future date you can even create your creation uh, deposit overrides ship selections pick up all pick select so that kind of functionality has he has been picked the product or has he selected the product so these all are the options are also available and here in the actions even you have loyalty cards so options as well so in that case if any customer buys a product again and again with you you can add as uh, add, add as a loyalty card and you can give up bonus points and th these bonus points can be redeemed as per your policy of your company or the stores uh, thanks for watching this video I hope that you would definitely like this video and uh, have a nice day bye bye